Hey everyone, EPL is here, and we are about to start the next chapter of this series, Amantes of Mantis. So, chapter 4. Let's not waste any more time, right? Let's, uh, let's check out the next chapter after that, you know, that uh, epic fight, that epic or drama and all that. Let's see how it's going to turn out from here. The place was a dark room. No, a dark space. Is he dreaming? Is Ren dreaming? He was not completely devoid of light, but what remained amounted to very little indeed. Yet yeah, it wasn't like it stood out as though trying to assert the reason for its existence either. To put it more aptly, it yielded before the sheer power of the darkness contained within this space. The darkness lingering here would succumb to no flame, and would remain deep and thick even in the face of a thousand candles. No mere shadows blanketed the room. The very space itself was dark. The place simply somehow came to possess that property, reflecting the souls of those who would gather here. What the heck is this place? Wait, hold on a sec. Some, some kind of, uh, I don't know, some kind of enclosed area with seats. I don't know, this looks like seats, but... And then we have the... Oh, this is the Obsidian Round Table, right? Yeah, their version. It was a vast space shaped like a mortar, akin to a Colosseum. Yeah, now that explains it. It looks, really looks like a Colosseum. Like, those are the audience seats. Spots of unrefinement aside, the structure did have a sense of splendor to it, resembling a spacious hall within a massive cave castle. In its center rested a circular table, jet black in hue and glimmering with luster, the obsidian round table. It housed 13 seats, followed by 13 hallways leading to each. In other words, this place was built for mere 13 people, even though they said they are supposed to have only 12 knights of the round table, but there's a 13th one. <laughs> 13. A number of ill omens, yeah, 13 the unlucky number. Judas Iscariot. Death in the Major Arcana. Friday the 13th. People commonly said that the Witcher's Sabbath was conducted by 13 people, for it was the most suitable number for preparing a place spiritual environment. This very same number referred to unity and love within the Germatria. Love and unity that no doubt, were alien to the situation at hand. After all, those kind of affections were things. Uh, I think this is off. No tea. Things of man uh, were things of manipulated by. I, I have no idea what that means. But anyway, I think I don't know what. What is this word? I don't think it's off. But anyway, things manipulated by subjectivity. One could count several vacancies among the seats of the round table. Out of thirteen. Only 8 had been filled. Yeah, 8 that had been spawned so far. Still 5 more yet to be spawned, right? The seats in question were number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, and 11. The masters of those 8 had gathered, with heavy silence dominating the other 5. Number 13, in particular, exuded no presence to be felt whatsoever. That's because number 13 is most like, you know, Zaratustra is actually one of, now has become one of the 12 members of the Obsidian Round Table. Yeah, yet replacing Mercurius. So, who is the 13th guy? Mercurius himself? Under normal circumstances, if the master question, if the master or user in question was either alive or had left some sort of lingering attachment behind, a vestige of their presence or a fragment of their will would be felt. In this situation, however, it was as though its master was either dead or had simply never had strong feelings for the place to belong to. However, that concerned none of those present. Oh, so, so everyone's here? Okay, it's, there's uh, Rusalka, there's K. Everyone says ka Kanjiru, alright? Kanjiru na! Where hell? The three muttered amongst themselves in tones of joy, gloominess, and displeasure. The red hat girl in the seat of Ak was the first to speak up, Rusalka. Yeah, 
her that, from that tone in here. She really sounds crazy. Look at that Colosseum. This has got them huge. I mean, it's like oh, everyone's sitting here, so it's like some kind of a you know those ancient halls, Roman halls, yeah, where people sit around, and then you have the people sitting here like like a like a court like that, you know, a law court, <laughs> uh, judge, and all that. Son of God. Seven, nine, and twelve. Turning towards the three empty seats, K drew each of them a glance. Empty. Those are the remaining three at the top. But Zaratustra is one of the twelve, right? So because he was shown earlier. So and he's shown as the twelfth person. Yeah, that would be good, because the player also needs to know, yes. <laughs> In response. Wolfgang Schreiber. Well, oh yeah, I've heard of that name. Rosalka gleefully uttered one name. Oh yeah, those are the remaining members, right? Have yet to appear. Wilhelm casually spat out another. Oh, whose voice is that? Is that Trifa's voice? Finally, Valeria Trifa proudly added the third. Yeah. But he's not one of the 12 members of Valeria Trifa. So who on earth is he? <laughs> Perhaps calling their names helped some sort of spiritual significance in this place. For all three seats lit up ever so dimly the moment they were uttered. They glowed in white, red, and black. The three colors that symbolized the Haken Cruz. I need to research this was the Haken Cruz. Oh, those three from the very beginning, the prologue. One thing, I think one of them is that kid, right? But then, in the beginning, I think there are like four of them, right? Let me try to recall. Eh, I think there are like four of them. Yeah, but but there's only three remaining seats. But definitely, yeah, those three remaining empty seats are the ones that we saw right in the beginning of the of this vision novel. Yeah, that kid plus that girl, that red hat, that that one, the, the lady that wears specs, and that uh the, the guy, the mustache, no, the beard guy, bearded guy who doesn't speak much. Yeah, those three. Yeah. Has to be those three. Yeah, those three. Actually, I think there are only three, not four. Although, I wonder why I remember it as four. Anyway, yeah, I think it's three only. Yeah, those three. It's those three. Okay. Absolute loyalty. Yeah, because those three commanders from the very beginning of this vision novel, they are the closest aides of Lord uh, Hedrich. So I think the re the resurrection, the revival of Lord Hedrich means the revival of those three as well. Yeah, Swastika has been activated. 
いかように考えていらっしゃるかこの場でお聞かせ願いたい Actually, I would love to see a scene, a CG, which have all the Obsidian Round Tables, I mean all the Obsidian Round Table members sitting around the table. That would be awesome. I would love to see a CG of that. We have let out a snot, as if, as if he found it offensive that Trifa would ask such an obvious question. Well, it's all about war, isn't it, for you? <laughs> You're just nothing but you just love fighting. He's the sort of person that just loves fighting. We don't want to repeat of Berlin. いや、いいぜ、ミステリアスワンのキュレス。もしかりに先走ってスワスチカの一角でも発動不能にしてみなさい。全てが遂行に帰してしまう。おい。ならクリストフ、てめえが予言でもしてくれるのかよ。おう、
驚きましたね、米中尉。あなたの口からまさかそのような言葉が聞けるとは。I, I think he doesn't keep a damn anyway. <笑>もちろん数日中に結論が出るはずです。彼も到着したことですしね。スピネ、イジェット、アナダメンバー、スピネ、シファーダイレクター、イスケイズ、アナシータ、テン。イディッセット、フィーパーシティ、ティン、スパイダー、ライクマン、エンノーマリー、ロングリムス、オー、ヨイゴー、ニューメンバー、ナウ、フェルス、ティンジ、タラフリー、ピキュリア。アフター、ディアダメン、ウィメン、ギャラ、ディスプレイス、オー、エクセプショナル、ルックス。They did not pride themselves on their excellence, being unmatched in bronze and brains and beauty alike as the like the tenfu, the chosen few. No, Shishokun. Oh, here we go. New voice. After having invited all the guests of those present, the peculiar looking man rose from his seat with a sinister smile on his lips. Let's, let's see a CG of him. Hmm. 
しばらくの間、私の指示に従っていただきたい。Oh, so now he's in command. Look at this guy. He looks more like a monster, like more like a very frail man that. Yeah, like really, really very frail man, but looks can be deceiving, of course. <laughs> yeah, this guy's s p i n n i n g with that creepy looking eyes. My assistance. Oh, look at his smile. Creepy as well. でもマレウスもバビロンも残念ながら役者不足カインは初めから論外ですし増年金とはいまだ協力的とは言えません少年金に比べてリピースディスクライスクラブリティそうすると someone called Babylon who has a Babylon king and son and king have not appeared yet あなただからお願いする美しくなられたお嬢さん Well, it depends on what you want me to help you with. Right? But I know that、uh, K doesn't really trust、uh, the Spinney. Yeah? Well, what, what, what is K's. I forgot. <laughs> what was K's、um, Obsidian Round Table name again? After throwing a glance right with suspicion in Shifa, K spoke up. Alright. The divine vessel smile cut into a confident smile. None of the others vetoed the decision. For the priest's smile rekindled memories of dread and grieved deep into the souls of all present, save for K. The memory of the destructive and absolute smile that belongs to the aberration they knew as the golden piece, Lord h e j i c h Alright, so hence begins chapter 4 of Odessa. Alright, l r i g h back t to normal life for the time being. How many people could place complete and absolute faith in their own ability of self restraint? <laughs> Well, because I have things to do. As I entered the rooftop, which had become my staple place of escape, I was addressed by a voice that had also become somewhat a staple of this place. And you're eating your sandwich as usual, eh? I thought、uh, Kasumi's on the bed. Nah, not that. I gave a half assed answer and leaned against the fence. I wasn't going to do something like sit next to her on the bench. Never again. Yeah, I <laughs> that, yes. <laughs> Shaku. She may have said that. But her face was, an ex-、uh, was as expressionless as always. By the way, we would have this. We had had this kind of conversation every time over the past few days. <laughs> Okimono? Statue? Alright. <laughs> well, actually, that's one place. Or、oh, actually, maybe not his own room either because Kasumi might just barge in. And as we, as we repeated this pointless conversation, All the while avoiding eye contact, the long awaited bell rang. It was annoying when I got dragged into the floor, but at times like this, I felt grateful for it. After all, she didn't try to get in my way of skipping classes. That was the clear difference between her and Kasumi. 
that's it. Now I could finally take a breather. Just as I heaved a mental sigh of relief, K shows up, or Kurosawa. <laughs> okay. Okay, not yet. All right, bye bye. Huh? What? Huh? What happened? Ah, あ、その、すみません。おお。急に寄って来られたからびっくりしたっていうか。はあ。ショック。あ、なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なるほど。なる
Don't worry, Kay is a nice lady. So calm down, Ren. Yeah, calm down. It's Rusalka and Wenham you have to be careful of. Kay hasn't yet shown her powers. Well, he, she did manage to show just a part of it by stopping Wilhelm, but that's about it. But we haven't actually seen Kay's true powers. <laughs> but Kay's not scary. Muttering that, I did my best to stop myself from shivering. Relax, Ren. Kay's not that not that scary of a person. Relax. In my current state, I felt confident I could. Sakurai arrived shortly before sunset. I decided not to ask the obvious questions or how she knew my phone's address or that I was on the roof. Asking someone as abnormal as her would have been pointless. The light of dust on the rooftop reminded me of the sunset in that tree. Oh yeah, in, on at the beach there. The place now looked at just how just like how it did when Shiro and Hai had that fight. Oh right, that that fight. Jesus, talk about an ominous place and time. Nothing that could happen here would surprise me at this point. <laughs> Come on, Ren. She's just being nice to you. Sakurai spoke in very business-like tone, her voice exhibiting little to no emotion. Yet even that voice of hers made me antsy. Felt akin to a kind of suffocating craving. I wish I could slice her head off right here now. That sort of impulse. No, don't, don't do that, Ren. And I was brutally confident that I could very well do it. Like seriously, Red, K has not done nothing wrong to with you to you. Just relax. <laughs> I had to calm myself. It was not yet time for that. Staying as two forever. Not yet. I needed to restrain myself. I still had a ton of things to ask her. After inhaling a deep, shaky breath, I spoke up. Yes, don't assume. You must be sure that you can beat them. Soreni? Eat that? それがどれだけ難しいかは理解してるつもりだけど、今のところあなたに対して敵意はないから。信じられない。何も言わないなら都合のいいように解釈するわよ。あなた、私に聞きたいこととかあるでしょ。Let me foresee. I think it's going to be the same pattern as with Rusaka because Rusaka we ask quite a number of questions in choice format. So I think it's going to be the same here. I think K will answer his questions more properly than Rusalka, that's for sure. Rusalka is a bit fake and all that. K will be more straight to the point and will make things much easier to understand, yes. Um, you know, Rusalka? Yeah, she's a lot older. That's why you cannot get along with her, no? <laughs> I could neither laugh nor get angry at that. She claimed to be a witch. Now that I thought about it, she did say something along those lines, didn't she? Yes, 
それでまず私の方から聞いておきたいことなんだけどあなたは今私たちを敵視してる Probably yes. 今の俺が友好的に見えるのか見えないわね。サクライレターモーキングチャクラ。見えないわね。でも、私が聞いてるのはそういうことじゃない。あなたの正義の形を聞きたい。スタンスのファイティング防衛なのか、構成なのか。つまり、買う気なのか、売る気なのか。あ、uh, あ、you trying to issue a challenge? Are you inviting challenge? Okay. それは。Whether you are passive or active. Honestly, that sounded like a real difficult question. But I had no intention of leaving them alone. Nor did I expect them to do the same with me yet.、Yeah. So it's either you want to provoke or, you know, go on the offensive. Yeah, that sort of thing. In fact, on that night, delayed a little because, ah, I think it's delayed it. Oh, Ren's the one who delayed it. まずこちらの質問に答えてよ。買う気なのか、売る気なのか。Defensive or offensive? Very difficult question though. <笑>多分、あなたはこう考えてる。俺とカスミがお前らのせいでこうなったのなら。違うかしら。違わない。Yeah. そう。でもね、藤井君私たちが来ても来なくてもあなたはそうなっていたはずよおお、interesting いえあなたがそうなると分かっていたから私たちが来たと言うべきかしらつまりお前たちがあらかじめ仕組んでたってことだろう。No It's bound to happen Fate Sakurai took my glare head on Then follow that with not. Oh no, it's all planned out. Hmm, okay. The sheer bluntness of her attitude made my mind boil. But,、uh, what's wrong with that? I mean, she's blunt and straight to the point. I'm cool with that. That's nothing really maddening about it, really. In fact, I would rather listen to, the, to her bluntness now. The truth about it, you know? even if it's angry, it makes you angry and all that. So, it really was their fault that Kasumi that I. Oh, yeah, he's panicking again. Ren, he died. Kasta Ko said, said, so then he told me now, this ain't no mamo. Thank you, take it. Anata. このままだと狂うわよ。おや、狂う、狂う、狂う。うるせえ。I couldn't hold back. She was an enemy. Hell, I had doubts she was even human. In that case, you'll be fine, right? I could just do it. There was no one else around, and it would be one on one. Oh, please don't underestimate K, please. Even if I. <laughs> Her right here now. I could probably cover up the truth. After all, this wouldn't be the first time I. I see Kay can read your mind, Ren. On the offensive, then. A moment later, my back slammed into the wall, accompanied by a shock, strong enough to take my breath away and make my ears ring. Defensive. Oh. Oh, she, she just closed in on Ren. Alright. Cool. This looks like an intimate moment, but also not quite. <laughs> anyway. Once I opened my eyes, I saw Sakura's face. 
just a few centimeters away from mine. She hung over me and practically pinned me to the wall, robbing me of my freedom. From this distance, I could see how surprisingly slender her body was. I felt her heart beat through our overlapping chest. <laughs> we will get to Kay's root soon, but cast me first, yeah. I sensed an eye indescribable chill rush up my spine. A frozen rhythm, like still cold water. An abnormality that even someone like me without medical knowledge. Or rather, that was precisely the reason why I could instinctively tell. This was not the heartbeat of a normal human. No way in hell. Oh, not at all. I couldn't move. The part of me that initiated my motions was being efficiently pinned down. Especially my right hand, which was being pushed to the wall by Kay's left. The force she pushed with left, with left cracks running through the wall. No woman, or rather, no regular human, could exhibit such strength. More importantly, though. Oh no, that sounds very painful, alright? That was the real enigma here. My arms were all being driven to a concrete wall, yet I barely felt any pain. Oh, okay, it's not painful, alright? Why in the world? How you normally are now, huh? Hmm, okay. In other words, I don't feel pain anymore. Pain was essentially a signal sent to inform you that your body was in danger. There were two primary reasons I could think of why I was not feeling anything. And Sakura denied the first one, so... Okay, okay, <laughs> but mosquito is more like just bite you, yeah, but yeah, it's not painful though. Okay, that, that, I can understand that.何を起こっているのか私は察せられるけど、それも今一ピンとこないし。うん、ね。あまり思い上がらないでほしいわね。あなたはまだ私たちに及ばない。<笑> Still no match for a month, for us, right? To consider. Told you earlier? Unshakable conviction. The prior knowledge of a certain thing. Oh yeah, the foreknowledge. <laughs> the belief that I was not meant to die here. I didn't blindly believe in something like that. So. The scar on my neck ached the moment I heard her whispering to my ear. Her voice sultry, almost seductive. I felt an urge to kill and devour, to cut off her head, to end her right here and now. Even though I could tell that my eyes were starting to fill up with the urge to kill. But Sakurai didn't seem even slightly faced by it. So he has to kill something basically, right? Yeah, Mujun. It's a contradiction, Mujun. Ah, okay. Sakurai knew the true nature of these destructive impulses welling up in me. She must have gone through them too. Eleven years ago, 
。ああ。その時お前は。子供だったし、我慢なんかできなかったのね。もっとも。それでよかったと今は思う。Wow, eleven years ago when she was a child. Because right now she's about the same age as K, right? That means like sixteen or seventeen. So eleven years ago, that means that means when she was five. When she was five, she's already a member of the Obsidian Roundtable. That's crazy. Um, the thing about this, Sakurai looked deep into my eyes and spoke as if she was whispering to something she saw within them. あなたの何十倍も歴史を重ねて何百何千も殺してきた人食いなの20年そこらの人生やモラルで対抗できる相手じゃない OK including you right 私たちの中でも初めからこれを寄せた人はゼロだって聞いているし実際あなたがどれだけ我慢強いのかは知らないけど我慢 How persistent? I'll probably use the word how, yeah, how much he can think or something like that. Yeah. Pity and self-derision mingled in Sakurai's tone as she continued, but it all lasted but a second. As Sakurai shifted back to her prior seductive tone. No, 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 <laughs> oh. Ayase san ya Himuro senpai ja muri de shou? Konna koto shite agerare no. Watashi igai ni dare ga iru no. Nihon jin da shi. Onai no shi da shi. Sore ni. Anata konomi da shi ne. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're my type? Okay. Dai <laughs> shoubu yo. Yasashiku shite agerare ka. As she uttered that the grip, Sakurai held my right hand in grew stronger. He crushed my flesh and made my bones creak. Maybe he had already broken a while back. But the pain was faint. In fact, he rather felt comfortable for some inexplicable reason. A bizarre itchiness ran through my spine. Most like a sign that I would soon shed my skin. Yuck. Equal footing first. I will. Well, okay.、Mm, been a while since we get a choice. All right, let's save this.、Uh, all right. Not sure what choice number this is, but I'll just play as a choice. Now this one, if I choose it correctly, then I will be going to Case Route. But I, the thing is, I want to go to go for Kasumi's route first, right? But I think I still want to favor, you know, Case. So, well, the thing is, if I say what do you think, it's a clear sign that I still don't trust Case, right? But if I say all right, all right, you know. Uh, but you know, I just want to go with the flow. So just say all right. <laughs> Yeah, and then we'll see what happens from there. Yeah, but the thing is, I want to.、Uh, the thing is, I'm be choosing Kasumi's route, first, so I hope choosing this will not affect、uh, my route to will not affect、uh, my path towards Kasumi's route. <laughs> so let's go.、Uh, if anything, I can always turn back, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, Makata. All right. Saying that, I put my hand between our chests and pried the sakura off of me. She moved away with surprisingly little resistance. Ude wa heki? Of course not. It's been crushed. <laughs> okay, it's okay. <laughs> I proceeded to lift my right arm out of the wall. Anyone's arm would have been broken after being put through all that. Yet mine didn't even have a single scratch on it. Damn it! I was already somewhat aware of this, but now I have finally become a monster. But possibly due to that realization, as well as the fact that Sakurai overpowered me earlier, my soon-to-explode mental state seemed to have cooled down a bit. 
もしかしてお前俺に何かしたのか I don't think so. She just, you know, use a seductive tone to console you, that's all. <laughs> oh, she did, she did do something, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you want to do something? 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 For your own convenience? So, I'm going to do something. まだ私のことが嫌いかしら Well, I don't know. <笑>好きじゃないな。But? 今のところ、売る気はうせた。Ah, that's what she meant by Are you on the offensive or defensive? So when she answered you're on the offensive means Yeah, means I want to kill you, you know, something like that. 素直で結構。じゃあこの続きは夜にしましょう。10時頃に正門のところで待ってるから。ファンゲーラン 10?10am?10am? OK。心配しなくても、しばらく押さえていられるはずよ。私の方が異界は上だし、それくらいの強制はかけたから。OK。じゃあ、後でね。And just like that, Sakurai left the roof. As I watched her go, a question abruptly hit me. She might be bad news, but would it have been even more dangerous to keep things going as they were now? Oh, not sure.